I uh, thought I'd do a quick video um, just showing the basics of how to use um, Sculptress um, which is a cut down version of ZBrush um, great program basically it's a clay modeling program you can do characters uh, anything you like really you can download it free completely free program uh, for pixel logic hopefully you can see the screen I'm having to use my camera as I think I deleted me video capture software uh, inadvertently because uh, I didn't think I'd use it uh, doing one of these daft videos I probably sound ridiculous I feel ridiculous because I'm talking to myself anyway let's get going so download the program you'll get your little icon come up once it's fully loaded called Sculptress Alpha 6 so I'm going to open that up double click and this is your main screen now your screen will co actually come up with this grey ball of uh, virtual clay if you like. I'm actually going to change that to the red because I've discovered from trying to do this video earlier that you couldn't actually see anything going on because of the light and my dodgy camera and so forth. So hopefully you can see this better. You can see I'm moving around here a little circle uh, on the screen. Uh, this is my little draw tool. A um, few things to note. Uh, mouse button wise, uh, very simple program this, uh, user interface really clear, there's no menus or anything around, very sort of simple but ultimately very powerful once you know what you're doing. I don't really, I've only been using this for not long so I'm pretty not great at it but I can show you some basics that will hopefully, hopefully get you going. So main thing is you can either, you can use your mouse wheel, zoom in and out on your little sphere there. Um, you can either hold down your mouse wheel, click your mouse wheel, or use the right button to actually move around. So you can see I'm moving that around. You can see here I've got a line of symmetry down the middle because this symmetry button is turned on. Um, you can turn that off but we're going to do a simple head here so I'm going to keep that on. Um, my phone is buzzing. Uh, so then anything you draw basically on this side is going to repeat the other side. Pretty obvious stuff. So you're going to do a quick head here. Um, there's a tool section. So you've got, some, got your tools here. You've got crease, rotate, scale, grab, flatten, uh, draw, inflate, pinch and smooth. I won't go into the other stuff at the moment. Um, they're your basics that you need. You've also got a couple of sliders at the top here. You've got size. And this will change the size of your the brush if you like they call it a brush so you can see that's quite large um, there uh, also that will change depending if you zoom out that will get larger or smaller depending on what you're working on uh, you've also got strength here now that will determine how much of the clay you want affected uh, so if you're doing high detail you probably want the strength quite high because that will really make it pull out pop out or if you want to do something more subtle uh, just lower the strength there's also a little detail slider here um, don't worry about that too much at the moment but that will say how much the detail of that brush you want um, so we're not going to worry about this basics so I'm going to draw a head so there's different ways of drawing heads uh, loads of videos on YouTube and whatnot of people drawing heads lots of different methods to do heads the easiest one I've found for me is uh, the way I'll show you now I'm going to use the grab tool now what the grab tool does will actually grab and pull out chunks of clay depending on, on the size of, of your cursor if I was to use this now it's just going to grab a little bit I want to make this into an egg shape um, so I'm going to pull it out into a, a big egg head shape to start with um, so I want this set to large because I want to grab big, you know, whole chunks of this this thing. So I've got this set to large. Also the strength I've got pretty high as I want to pull it out quite quickly. So I'm going to start by pulling out the bottom. You see here. Uh, I'm going to go around to the side. You can see I've pulled out a sort of balloon shape. Um, so let's pull out the top and let's be the back a bit. Push the sides up. Uh, keep moving around your using say right holding down your right uh, mouse button or your 
your middle, I tend to use the, the middle clicky one, um, pull it down and that will uh, hold it down, that will push bits around, like that, all pretty simple stuff. If you messed up and you want to go back to what you previously did, hold down Control and Z and that will undo whatever you've done. I believe there's 11 steps of undo, um, so pretty useful. Um, so just pull pull and push your sphere around until you're happy you've got an egg shape. Uh, so it's, a, it's a sort of the shape of the head you want. If you're an artist you're going to find this a lot easier if you're familiar with uh, human anatomy and uh, size and shapes and how it should look it will be a lot easier. I'm not really so I just sort of blag it. Uh, and there we go. Uh, so there's my basic head. Uh, now I'm going to add some subtle details. There's no point in going straight to find details and really drawing out eyes and things like that. Um, you just want to keep it really basic. So now I'm going to use the draw tool. Now this will layer up clay or indeed it will take clay away. This, If you use your alt, hold down alt on your keyboard and that will actually reverse your, your brush, your tool. Um, so on the draw one it will add, you can see I've added stuff there. If I hold down alt it will actually then reverse it and take it away or we'll actually draw in like that you can see I'll just get rid of that so I'm just going to rough out some eyes here uh, I'm going to take the size of my brush down and eyes if you say if you're an artist you're familiar uh, start normally about halfway down the head so I'm just going to do something like that just to basic of where the eyes will be um, there we go nose again just or down, maybe across like that, and you can see that's actually building up the clay on the surface. The more I go over it, the more the clay will build up. If that's building up a bit quick and coming out really fast, just turn your strength down and it will be a bit softer, more subtle. So something like that. The mouth, again the same, just go over there. And there we have it, Mr. Potato Head. Uh, so not very interesting so far. Uh, other really useful tools is the smooth, smooth tool. This smooths everything out. This is worth using. You probably use this half the time you're, you're drawing. Um, that will just smooth everything out. So you can see there it's just smoothed out the features. I want them subtle um, at the moment. So I'm not adding any detail, just a rough guide. Once you've got that, um, draw some eyebrows as well I suppose, so I'll go back to the draw tool and take the size down a little bit, so eyebrows, something, Ooh. and a bit bigger, uh, not that big, okay, so some rough eyebrows there as well, also smooth that out a little bit, there we go, so now I can start pulling out um, actually really shaping this a bit more. So if I go back to the grab tool again, now the size of your grab tool is going to be depending on, on if I use it here you can see it's quite big it's going to pull all of this face out but if say I just want to pull the nose out just make it smaller roughly sort of so it covers the area of the nose so that sort of thing um, and then I can pull that out if I like I can say shape it and again, I'm going to pull this bottom, his chin out here, so I'm going to pull that out. Uh, again, I can make amendments around here, change the size of the head so you get it for the jawline. Um, like this head's a bit big, forehead's a bit big, so I'm going to pull all that around. Keep moving around your model when you're doing this so you can see what it's doing. I'm going to pull the sides in there. Again, I'm going to make the draw tool uh, a bit smaller now so I can uh, pull in some features okay so pull in the nose essentially that's it play around with pulling it about till you're happy with say if, if you're a sculpture and you you, you you sculpt on real clay this is all gonna be pretty natural I'm not a sculptor so I'm not particularly great at this um, so there's your basic features. Now there's 
you're probably thinking, well, how do I get eyes and things like that? There's a inflate tool here, which will either it will puff up where your your tool is, your cursor, or say hold the Alt key down, that will reverse it and push it in. So I'm going to do some eye sockets. So I'm going to put the, the size to sort of about the size of an eye socket. Um, strength is fairly low, so it doesn't go too quick for me. And I'm going to say if I push it on with inflate, you can see it actually inflating. Uh, I actually want to reverse it. So hold down Alt, and you can see it's pushing the clay in. Uh, so you can just rough out your eye sockets. There you go, so you can see I've got some eye sockets. Um, pretty easy. You think, well, I want some eyeballs. So the next important thing is uh, you can actually add more spheres. So what we started with, I can add more of those, so more clay balls to it. So if I hit this little one here, it says new sphere. Hit that, it says create sphere. Um, it says facing camera, yeah, which means it will just put it when the camera's at the front. Uh, now you've got an option here of either new scene. If you hit that, you're just going to start with the brand new sphere. Again, if you want to start from a fresh, hit that, and that will just put a new sphere. Uh, I want to add to this, so I don't want to do that because I'll get rid of what I've done. So I'm just going to use the middle option, which is add object. Hit that. Now you can see I get these uh, sort of wireframe balls, which is showing me. See, these are huge at the moment, and it probably looks a bit scary if you're not used to this sort of thing. But don't worry, um, doesn't matter where you're going to put it. And again, you can see if I hold it in the middle, I get one, if I move it apart, I get two. And um, that's just because I've got the line of symmetry on, I've got symmetry on, um, so you can turn that off. But I always keep keep it on for the head. Um, so I want two eyes, so I'm going to do it. So there's two, so you click them wherever you like, and you see it adds them, and they are far too big unless you. Want a bug man. There's a little nodule click thing here which says global. If you click that on or off, at the moment once you add something it's actually set to global so I can't actually draw on these at the moment. Um, I, all I can do is sort of move them around and there's a few tools that work in this global called global mode and there's grab which means which I'm on at the moment which um, turn the global back on which means I can grab the object, place it where I like, so I'll grab it. There's also scale, so obviously it does what it says, scale the size, so I make it smaller, so I'm just scaling it. And there's also rotate, which you can rotate the object, won't bother about them at the moment. So I've just uh, scaled them a bit, you can grab and place it where you like, they're still see far too big, so it's going to hit the scale again. Just change the scale, hold down the button, change the scale. There we go. Eyes. Again, move around your model, you think they're not quite in the right place. And if they're not in the right place, go back to grab. Um, move them around, look to the side, so out, in, look to the front, make sure your spacing's nice. That looks pretty good. Once you're happy with that, turn off the global mode, and if you click in again, you can see my cursors come up in the normal draw tool. Click on it, and there we go. I have some eyes. You can see these are different colour to the rest of the the object. Um, that is because I can draw on each independently. See if I'm drawing on my main face here, it doesn't affect the eyeballs at all. Um, so if I was say pulling this around like that, which is quite nice because I can add sort of cover around the eyes and add sort of more of the features or if I click in the middle of the eyeball that lets me draw on the eyeball without affecting the rest of it um, don't want to draw on the eyeball at the moment that's normally sort of the last thing you do keep them round so you can click on each one you can go you can um, sort of uh, control if you want to draw more I'm holding down control A to show all of it I could draw it on all of it there control D will hide it all but again, if I click, it will click on whichever part I want. Um, once you're sort of happy with that, it looks pretty good. So you can move it around. There's other tools to 
start putting your details in. So to keep your details pretty simple to start, get your main outline going. Uh, and then there's useful tools, uh, pinch, which will pinch up the, you can see here I'm sort of pinching, which will pinch the clay. So if you're pinching, pulling out, um, there's the, so we've gone through the inflate, deflate, which is the inflate apart, or we'll hold down alt, deflate again, pinch will work, it will either pinch out or in, depending if you're holding down alt, flatten, we'll just flatten clay, as you can see there, just makes it flat. Uh, crease, which is really handy for doing creases so around the nose. You can see I've just hit the crease there. You can see it creasing. Uh, inflate tool or deflate with alt is really so you're really useful for doing holes and things. So again, if you want to do nostrils, but to make the size smaller, uh, usually inflate. But if I hold down alt, that will push in the clay. So there I can do nostrils. Something like that. And the smooth tool, again, really useful just to clean up that geometry in there. Use that a lot, just go over it, say not too strong, just to push it back and make it nice. Again, I can smooth out all of this. It just, just smooths it. And that's about it, really. Um, there's lots of other things, but that will get you started. Play about with the brushes, see what they do. Again, play about with the size and strength, see how it affects the model. Um, you can change your material colour. I've changed mine to this, as I say, to this red so you can see it. But there's lots of other ones here. Um, some are not going to be very useful. For instance, there's this sort of nice glass blue one. Um, looks really nice, probably if you're drawing a glass vase or something. Quite nice. I've uh, got some of the mirror ones here. Yeah, look really cool. Say usefulness of that on a, you know, depending on what you're doing, it's probably not that useful. Um, there's all sorts of things. Scary light one, quite like that. And that's about it. Uh, obviously, save your model often. Um, little save button here. Save it as what you want. Also, the other useful thing, if you just want to show a picture, if you want to just take a quick image of that. See the save tool is just going to save it as its own file. But if you want a quick image, if you hit options and there's a little save image, do that. That will either save it as a PNG file, or the most common, the JPEG. So if you want to bung you, what I do is bung uh, my ridiculous heads and beasties on Facebook. Just hit a JPEG. That will just create a quick JPEG of the image. Um, so pretty useful. Um, there's other options here as well. You can put backgrounds and stuff. So you don't need to worry about that sort of thing at the moment. Um, that's about it, really. Uh, don't think I need to say anything else. Um, so I might do other videos showing more in-depth features, but essentially that's it you need to get going. Um, but great program, really fun. Uh, say if you're, you're a sculptor you're going to take to this pretty quick say I'm not, I'm more sort of a, a mechanical drawer so I find this actually not hard but as it's very easy to use but you just got to have that phone line it is sort of a very artistic program um, and you can come up with the incredible things say not only can you draw heads you can draw whatever you want uh, if you go and have a look on the Pixel Logic website and some of the galleries there, people have done some you know, truly amazing things. Um, you can draw all sorts of stuff. Uh, so anyway, hope that gets you going. Any questions or if you want some further tips and tricks? Um, I do know a few, so I've been using it a little while, so I'm not completely uh, alien to it. Uh, thanks for listening to my rambling. I hope that explains a bit. Bye.